This is a unique case presentation of a 28-year-old multigravida currently at 14 weeks of gestation. Her presenting complaint was lower abdominal pain, occasional spotting per vaginum. On ultrasound, we discovered a diamniotic twin pregnancy in which one alive fetus corresponding to 14 weeks of gestation was seen with normal cardiac activity and movements. One twin showing features of vanishing twin. The biometry of twin B was 6 weeks and 4 days of gestation. The alive fetus appeared to be very normal, showing normal cardiac activity, normal nuchal translucency and normal movements. A separating membrane was identified which separated the two cavities the ultrasound findings of the alive fetus showed no cross structural anomalies. The vanishing twin B showed a small fetal pole corresponding to 6 weeks 4 days of gestation. No cardiac activity could be visualized. The placenta appeared to be normal with no retroplacental clot. No signs of threatened miscarriage in surviving twin could be identified. The provisional diagnosis showed diamniotic twin pregnancy with a vanishing twin. A live co-twin with ongoing pregnancy presenting with lower abdominal pain and spotting may be indicative of threatened abortion. Vanishing twin syndrome is the intrauterine death and resorption of one fetus in a multiple gestation often occurring in the first trimester. The demise twin usually gets absorbed or a small remnant may persist until delivery. Differential diagnosis for pain and spotting may be threatened a portion of surviving twin, subchorionic hemorrhage, infection, preterm labor, or abruptio placenta. The investigation should include a repeat ultrasound for interval growth of surviving twin, placental health, and cervical length. CBC to check for anemia or infection. Management plan should include monitoring for complications such as infection or excessive bleeding. No intervention is needed for the vanishing twin itself. For the surviving twin, reassure the patient about good prognosis of the ongoing twin. Advise bed rest if pain persists. Avoid strenuous activity until bleeding stops. Progesterone support may be considered in cases where cervical length is less than 2.5 cm. Counsel the patient and explain the natural course of vanishing twin syndrome. Reassure co-twin is unaffected in most cases. Regular follow-up for antenatal care should be done. Serial growth scans to ensure surviving twins normal growth. If significant bleeding occurs, admit and manage as threatened abortion. Generally, good prognosis for the surviving twin in a diamniotic twin pregnancy. Risk of preterm labor is slightly higher, but most pregnancy continue uneventfully. Vanishing twin syndrome is relatively common in multiple gestation. The mainstay is reassurance and monitoring. Please remember to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you.